Canada's first ever People's Social Forum closed this weekend with thousands in attendance. They hope to build a new alternative structure in Canada. For more, here's our Canadian, uh, Canadian correspondent, Luchacho Granada Ceja. After three intense days, the People's Social Forum concluded on Sunday. The program addressed topics such as Indigenous sovereignty, the climate change crisis, and the political situation of countries all over the world, from Ukraine to Venezuela. The revolution in Venezuela is uh, a spark, is hope. Participants filled the halls and rooms. Many were enthused hearing about the different experiences of political struggle. As people prepared to board buses and planes home, most expressed a sense of hope about the possibilities for change in Canada. And when I see all these people here, and all these different points of view, none of whom support this new liberal austerity agenda, none of whom support the war agenda, uh, none of whom support the racism, it really gives me a, a sense of optimism. The voices and struggles of indigenous peoples were particularly prominent at the forum, as they have been playing a decisive role in the fight against neoliberalism, represented by Prime Minister Harper. People need to educate themselves. It's not just an indigenous struggle, it's a world struggle, and our earth is in dire straits right now, and people need to wake up. Activists reported that they were able to make links and build networks with other organizers throughout the country and beyond. We have one major foe that we're fighting right now in Chevron, and uh, we just want to give a shout out to our people in Ecuador, our friends down there, who are also struggling against Chevron and ensure that the message gets out that Chevron has a dirty hand and everybody needs to know about it. Here we're creating alliances with people from all over the planet and we're proud to say that we're of the same mindset. Activists reported that in order to succeed, the movement against neoliberalism and the Harper government must be led by social movements and grassroots organizations and not professional lobbyists and NGOs. With reporting from Santiago Escobar, this is Lucho Granado Ceja for Telesur.